Hello and assalamu alaikum to all of you. Hope you are doing great. Welcome to another scholarship video. In this video, we will discuss about the PASCO Asia Fellowship. Uh, this is a basically Korean based scholarship for the science, technology, engineering and mathematics students. So without wasting time, let's move to the laptop screen and start the application process. So we are on the laptop screen now first of all we will open the ad so that i can show you the eligibility criteria and other details so here is the ad uh, 2024 pasco asia fellowship program uh, this is the eligibility criteria uh, here you can see uh, who can uh, who willing to study in korean graduate school uh, in the spring semester of 2024 and fall semester so these are the eligible who are willing to study in spring semester as well as fall semester uh, these are the qualifications uh, asian citizenship you have to be citizen of asian countries and uh, the subjects in which you are uh, going to study these are the four uh, majors uh, stem basically it means science technology uh, engineering and mathematics so these are the four majors in which you can study on uh, pasco asia fellowship scholarship program uh, these are the benefits uh, full tuition and living expenses and uh, insurance uh, korean classes etc so these are the benefits uh, schedule uh this is the application submission date uh may 1st to 31st may 2023 uh, and this is the overview of steps for the application uh now we have to move on the uh, website portal and start the application process so let me open browser now the browser is open I have already opened the portal link where we have to apply uh, and I will also add this link in the description of video so you can easily click on link from the description after that scroll down these are the eligibility criteria which we have already discussed let's scroll down uh, let's have a look at this uh, this is important point uh, you can see here is mentioned you have to apply on the universities separately as well as on portal and uh, this is the universities list where we uh, can apply or we can give preferences from these universities after that let's scroll down and here you can see the format of recommendation letter you can use this uh, format to use as a recommendation letter and then click on fill out application form this is opening translate into english and here put your name cell number I am adding cell number just randomly you can add your accurate number then email then again email to confirm it password and click fill out you have to check this now click on fill out the application then again fill out application form now translate into english close it 
now this is the basic information add it gender date of birth major here you can see uh, this scholarship is for master phd and master leading to phd so you can apply uh, for all these three i am just applying for uh, phd now so i have selected this you can select accordingly after that select yes now uh, you have to uh, upload the picture so click on this and select the picture then nationality email address mobile number address i am just adding randomly and short data so just for the purpose of demo but you have to put all these details accurately and uh, complete details after that click on next then check then check again now we have to put the educational details so if you are applying for the phd so you have to fill out the bachelor as well as masters uh, educational details first of all we will put the bachelor de uh, bachelor degree details school location then if you have completed your degree then click on graduate department major perfect score this is the major point uh, in your bachelor degree which is your major so you have to put the credits of this for example it is 4 credit or grade 8.9 I am just putting this data uh, randomly as I have uh, discussed earlier just for the purpose of demo but you have to put all these details uh, accurately now here we have to put the master's degree detail this is the country if your country is not located in the list so you can select on the other Asia if you are from Pakistan, India or etc
after that you have to upload the transcript so click on this and paste your transcript it is uploading so after that you have to put the details of your job experience So after putting these details click on next then check then check again so now we have to put these documents first of all the graduate certificate means your degree is uploading now here you have can put the uh, passport or id card then language proficiency after that uh, recommendation letter you can download the format here and after putting details upload the uh, recommendation letter here you have to put two recommendation letter and if you have any other uh, documents was uh, research proposal you can add here uh, here you have put the details of uh, your uh, recommender for example from uh, the teachers which you give uh, which you have given the uh, recommendation uh, so you have to put the details of these here name of the professor and email address so I just had it XYZ and then again uh, desire universities with name of department so here you have to select the universities uh, which we have discussed here so these are the universities and you have to uh, put the university name along with the major for example I am select, uh, here you can see example uh, this is the name of university and this is the subject where you can apply so for example uh, I am uh, applying in this university so I will add this name here and then in bracket degree name for example biological sciences and just like that we can give three preferences first one is compulsory uh, other two is your optional so it's better to find out all these uh, universities and check where you, uh, your subjects is uh, offering so you can uh, give the preferences according to uh, your subjects offer so after that click on next then check check
now put these details statement of purpose uh, you have to put the self introduction and future plan after study in Korea so you can add here uh, your plans and paste here research topic and research and detailed research plan so after putting the details click on next then check now this is the final submission before the uh, final submission uh, you can review the application so after that click on this i have read all above and agree to it and then final submission then check then check again so here you can see the message uh, our application is successfully submitted so after this we have to also apply on the university separately uh, on all these universities which we have given in the reference section if you are uh, I am not uh, applying on the university because uh, video will get uh, too much lengthy so you can apply easily on the university website but uh, if you still face any issue or problem you can contact on uh, this email address this is the official email address of the uh, POSCO Asia Fellowship portal and uh, this is the contact number also given so you can contact on this email or phone number uh, hope so this video will help you in the uh, application process uh, if you find this video helpful uh, let's share with your friends so that they can take benefit from this uh, stay tuned and stay updated for the latest scholarships uh, see you in the next video Allah Hafiz